Now we're going to look at approximate bin packing algorithms. And these will all use a greedy approach. So what's the underlying problem we're trying to solve? So we want to pack n items into as few bins as possible. And in terms of practical applications, this could be things like packing trucks for shipping things, or the I'm sure things like UPS has to do this type of thing. We want to minimize how many of our containers or bins we use to pack these things. And each item has a size of greater than zero but less than or equal to one. So basically there will be a percentage of one bin. Okay. So one thing to note is that these approaches are not guaranteed to produce optimal solutions. In some cases they can, but it's not guaranteed. But even when they don't, in many cases, they may produce uh, what we'd consider a good solution. So these algorithms come in two basic forms. online algorithms and offline algorithms. So online algorithms basically process the data as it comes in. So we'll make decisions as the items arrive. Then offline is where we have or know of all the items in advance, and then we can make decisions. So make decisions with knowledge of all items. Now note that online algorithms and offline algorithms are just categories of algorithms. So they're not really restricted to bin packing problems. Take sorting, for example. There's some sorting algorithms that basically take each new item they're given and place it where it needs to be, so they're online and in uh, the way they work. But there's other sorting algorithms that basically look at all the data and then make a decision on where to place each thing, so they'd be offline. All right? So we'll look at online first. And so we'll look at several versions. First thing we'll look at will be what's called next fit. And the way it works is that each new item is placed in the current bin if possible, otherwise we start a new bin. So each new item is placed in current bin. if possible, meaning there's room for it. Otherwise, start a new bin. So let's use this data. 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.7. So this is the order in which we receive the items. So first we get 0 0.3, so it goes in our first bin, B1. And then we get 0 0.8. Well, I only have 0 0.7 left in this bin, so 0 0.8 won't fit. So we start a new bin. And because of the way this algorithm works, we can never come back to this bin. So this part will remain empty throughout. So now I get 0 0.9. That clearly won't fit since there's only 0 0.2 left. So this remains empty. And now we have 0 0.9. We get 0 0.1. Well, there's room for 0 0.1 here, so this bin actually gets filled. Then we get 0 0.2, but the last bin here, bin 3, is full. So we start at 0 0.2 here, and then we get 0 0.7. And if this is the data we have, well then this remains empty. So clearly this is not optimal.
okay? Because you realize we could have taken some things and moved them around. So that's the next fit algorithm. Now let's look at first fit. So we're going to place an item in the first available bin. And once again, the data is this 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. So 0 0.3 comes in, then we get 0 0.8, then we get 0 0.9, and now we get 0 0.1. So where does it go? Place item in first available bin. So bin 1 is the first available bin. So it's 0 0.1. 0 0.2, well we still have 0 0.6 left here. So I can place 0 0.2 here. Now we get 0 0.7. That won't fit here. That won't fit here. That won't fit here. So we actually need to start a fourth bin. Which means if we stop here, this is empty. This is empty. This is empty. And that is empty. All right. Let's look at another one called best fit and in this case we place the item in the with the tightest fit possible so place item into tightest fit or well, the way I think of it is we're trying to minimize the wasted space So 0 0.3 again, and now we get 0 0.8, that won't fit, 0 0.9, and now we get 0 0.1. But what's the tightest fit? 0 0.1 will fit here, it will also fit here, and it will fit here. But if we put it here, we fill the remaining space. So we didn't waste any. If I put it here, then I leave 0 0.1. If I put it here, I leave 0 0.6. We still may come along with things that would fill those in, but I don't know that because remember, we're receiving the data in this order. We make decisions when we're given the item. So there's the 0 0.1. And then I get 0 0.2. I look and say, oh, well, here's the tightest fit. And finally, 0 0.7. And there's no wasted space. So for this data, Meaning also in this order, we uh, produced an optimal solution. And let's put for this data, let's stress that, an optimal solution. There's no guarantee that best fit will always produce an optimal solution, but here it did. So we can see there's no way we could use less than three bins. And this is one particular way of doing that. So all three of those algorithms are um, online algorithms. Let's look at an offline algorithm. So this would be offline. And this one's called first fit decreasing. And the way it works is that we sort, sort largest to smallest, then place each item in the first bin that will hold it. Then place each item
All right? So if we sort, then we get 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. So those are the same items we had before, but now it's sorted. I know I'm going to need at least three bins because the optimal solution uses three. But this is not guaranteed to produce an optimal solution, which means I, this is a lower bound. All right, so what do we do? We'll place 0 0.9. 0 0.8 won't fit, so start a new bin. 0.7 won't fit here, won't fit here. 0 0.3 won't fit here. Won't fit here, but it does fit here. And this bin is full. 0.2 won't fit here, but it will fit here. And that bin is full. 0 0.1, it'll fit here. And that's full. So once again, for this data, this is an optimal solution. None of the algorithms I showed you are guaranteed to produce an optimal solution. But the last two we saw for the particular data I had, they did actually find optimal solutions. All right? So those are examples of approximate bin packing algorithms using greedy approaches to making our decisions.